Okay, so we have uh, this old oil tank that's been sitting here. We want to remove it. It's uh, sometimes going to be a pretty costly endeavor, but it's pretty simple. Um, you just want to lay down some plastic. You want to drain uh, the oil out of the tank, and then you want to cut it. Uh, we'll cut it lengthwise here around, and then we'll cut it into pieces to uh, take to the scrapyard. Uh, so the oil is not really that flammable. It takes a tremendous amount of flame in order to ignite uh, home heating oil. So especially as long as you drain the tank, there's really pretty much zero chance of any type of um, issue with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we drain the tank first and then we'll start cutting. did is I drilled as low as I could um, and I kind of tipped the bucket but I don't want to keep it up I'm just gonna do it like that as you can see we have a lot of uh, these are 18 kilogram buckets and we're filling them up like crazy ideally what you want to do is run your boiler until it stops so that way most of the heating oil in the tank is uh, burned that way you don't have to do this. So yeah, so we're gonna have to transport all these to the uh, the waste center. So we're gonna start on the edge, we're gonna to try to cut it in half here. Some heating oil in there so we got to drain the rest of it and then we'll finish cutting up the tank So now that we've drained most of it from the side of the tank, higher, we're now using the, the downspout and then a bucket that's cut uh, about a third up. So that way I can get it uh, underneath the drain spout. And then I transfer that into larger buckets until it's pretty much fully drained. At that point, we'll put kitty litter uh, in the tank, soak up the remaining residue that's inside before we uh, cut up the tank into small pieces and uh, bring it to the metal recycling center. So we have, uh, these are buckets that we filled with uh, what was left in the tank, which was a lot. And now we're just draining the rest. I've got the back up on blocks so that way it drains down. Okay, so now we've got pretty much the whole thing drained. Uh, so now I'm going to start adding kitty litter to the inside because we have uh, residue left over. I'll just pour that in the bottom. Okay, so we've drained it completely. We've added kitty litter, soaked up any residue that was left. Now I'm gonna shovel that out into bags. 
and then we can start cutting this uh, into smaller pieces. some paper towel or newspaper and just uh, sort of wipe the sides. You can get any additional residue. That's what the, uh, the metal recycling place likes to see. That's been cleaned out well. <laughs> 